Well, I started cooking when I was a little girl. I was obsessed with cooking shows and Ainsley Harriet. I was an absolute groupie. Um, and then my mom kind of just encouraged us to cook. I guess she reckoned the more I cook, the less she has to cook. So we kind of just started cooking like that, cooking against each other in the kitchen, having fun. Never ever in a million years thought I'd actually cook on TV one day. So it's just a happy coincidence. I'm a small town girl. So I grew up in a town of dust and rocks in the northwest called Mafeking. Actually what it means is a place of stones, so hot as all hell. Um, nothing else to do there, which is probably why we ended up baking. Um, so, you know, just grew up, simple life, and ended up moving to the big city to pursue all my dreams and studying. Like when you're a little kid, you have all these different kind of dreams that you want to do. So I wanted to be a nurse, I wanted to be a teacher, then I wanted to be a doctor. Um, and eventually settled on being an engineer, not because I wanted to do it, but because I could, unfortunately. No one should be an engineer. My favorite dish to make and to eat aren't the same thing. Normally when you make something, you're not really in the mood to eat it, so I don't eat that much. Um, I love making desserts, like intricate desserts with a million elements on the plate, because people always respond to those the best. So I love doing that. Um, and my favorite thing to eat, unfortunately isn't so glamorous, but like a roast chicken. Like a warm roast chicken with crispy skin, you can't beat that. My life now compared to my life before MasterChef are like 180 degrees different from one another. So I used to be really bored at work, fell asleep there a few times actually in front of my laptop being an engineer, um, tree hugger one. Um, and now I get to do something that I love, I get to be creative, which is probably the biggest change. Um, I don't have to wear ugly clothes to work, I can dress like I want. Um, and it's kind of cool to be given a platform through a show. So I get to, to stand for things that I think are important and I get to affect change in my community, which is my favorite thing. I love what I do so much because what the hell is wrong with a life that smells like ganache and croissants? My house smells awesome. I smell like baked cookies. It's all, don't sniff me. <laughs> but I smell like baked cookies. And you know, I, I love being creative. I love drawing things and I like pushing boundaries. Um, and using my engineering degree to kind of do that, to build hollow cakes and inside out this, that thing and upside down, what, what, and to break the rules. And I think that's one of the advantages of not being classically trained. Uh, you're not aware of the things you're not allowed to do in the kitchen or the things that won't work. So you attempt doing things that don't make a lot of sense. It's fun. No one ever stops learning. And that is the coolest thing about any any job you can have in the world and I think that's where most people make the mistake they stop learning they stop being interested and inquisitive I think it's the biggest gift you can have is to be inquisitive even if you're an engineer if you stop learning your bridge is gonna fall you're always gonna be behind the trends and the, the new technologies and I think anyone who thinks they know it all and anyone who doesn't have a desire to learn more is really boring and sucky and very very full of themselves even when I was interviewing for jobs, I used to hate the five-year plan question or the what do you see yourself, where do you see yourself in the future. I think it's important to work hard and to grab the opportunities that come your way. But sometimes, like, and I have OCD, so I love planning, like Excel's my buddy. You know? But I think sometimes it's okay to not really know where you're going to be in the future. So I know I want to shoot the show. My recipe book's coming out next year. I'm going to keep working with CakeNet on their morning show. Um, I'd love to do an English show that's not my own next year as well. And then a whole bunch of print media and blogs and magazines and shoots. Like just stay as busy as possible and maybe make someone really important wedding cake. And not screw it up. My name is Celine van der Watt and I am the director at S.